James, is that one that got away tonight? I think so. Um, Rob disappointed in the dressing room because I think certain on reflection in the first half there was, there was nothing in between the two teams. Um, <clears throat> I'm perhaps guilty of a sloppy mistake to, to give away the corner. Um, but then to concede from both goals from, from set pieces is, is really disappointing. And um, after that, we're, we're chasing the game a little bit and we, it gets a little bit ragged. Um, but I think certainly on the, the first half display, there's, there's nothing in, in the teams. And yeah, we're all disappointed that we've, we've not come away with anything this evening. Is it a case of one team taking the chances on the night and the other not? Yeah, possibly. I think certainly first half, um, they perhaps had more possession, but I felt we had the better at the chances um, <clears throat> that we didn't quite take. And uh, like I said, the, the second half, you know, they took the, the chances from set pieces, which makes it doubly disappointing. You mentioned the first half there, you looked good and you were probably thinking, again, it's the second half, it'll only be a matter of time before you score, but did they maybe make it a bit more difficult in that second 45? Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, I think I'm, I'm guilty of giving the... the the chance for the, the set piece that, that scored the first goal. Um, I think the, the first goal was always going to be important in this game, and you know, having got that, um, and then the second quickly after, you know, we, we perhaps lost our shape a little bit trying to chase a goal and, and get back in the game. I imagine the lads in the dressing room were bitterly disappointed because it was an opportunity to, to build on Saturday's win today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and it was a, an opportunity to, to improve again on, on the performance from Saturday, which I felt was. Know, going in the, the right direction and a you know a really good performance. Um, look, it's it's disappointing, but we'll we'll take the positives from from what what we what we had in the game, um, and we go again on on Saturday. Well, there's disappointment in there. I imagine it's a dressing room desperate to to go again and hopefully pick up three points at QPR on Saturday. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, you know that's the, the beauty of this league. There's there's a game so quickly around the corner, so. Yeah, we, we can't dwell on this, this result too much, although it is a, an opportunity missed. Um, and we'll, we'll go to keep looking for a result. Despite the defeat, the team have been playing fairly decent over recent weeks, haven't they? Yes, yeah, certainly Saturday. Um, you know, my, my first chance to, you know, to, to see the lads play. I thought we were, you know, there was makings of a, a really decent team here, and certainly since the, the gaffer's been in, um, the lads' form's been, been up there with. You know the the, the chase the chase impact for promotion. So I think we're going in the right direction. Um, I think it is, it is an opportunity missed today. But like I said, we we can't dwell on it, it too much with the, the game coming so so quick on Saturday. What do you expect to face against Queens Park Rangers? Another difficult game, like always. Um, you know, physically to have three games in a week is is tough. So you know we'll have to make sure we, we prepare right. But um, yeah, I've seen enough from us in the, the last two games to to go into to an away game on, on Saturday with, with confidence. For you personally, you've completed back to back 90 minutes, how does that feel? Strange. Um, it's been a long time since since I've done that, but you know, it's, it's the exact, exact reason that, that I came to, to Stoke. I wanted to play games and, and hopefully help the team. And um, yeah, it's, it's a strange feeling, but it's, it's a nice one.